And then <laughs> I'll get the summer off. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship this morning. Um, I pray that everyone will receive a blessing to worshiping with one another this morning. You may be wondering, what the heck are these trees in here for? As we've been going through our, our summer, we have been um, on a journey with one another, um, looking back at the little camp meetings. And um, so I just figured that we would just, um, well, we'd start building our camp, right? You need trees, right? You need trees to have a camp. We are looking at revival, revival. Asking the Lord to revive us again this summer. Um, there is so much revival that is needed all around the world. Just look at the world around us. And as I've said so many times, revival begins here. It begins here within each and every one of us. So we are going to work on that whole revival thing this summer. So of course, you know, you're like, okay, we've got trees now. This represents you know, our stream that we have, the stream that comes down from the cross through our risen Lord Jesus Christ, through our baptism, and down among each and every one of us. And we have that rainbow of hope because we have those promises of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. On way of announcements, community prayer in the park is this afternoon and noon time, so we'll be in the park and um, pray for our community and for the addicted and those around us. <laughs> you are happy about that, I heard that. <laughs> uh, let's see, there is no women's Bible study on uh, this Monday. And there's no sacred dance this Monday either. Uh, let's see, Tuesday there is inspired by the word. And on Wednesday there is the woman's Bible study at 6.30. At Thursday, we might try to do sacred dance, but I'll get in touch with everyone uh, about that. And Friday is UMW, yes? Yes. At 10 o'clock on this coming Friday, we have a UMW meeting. And uh, it's an important one, too, because we're getting ready to uh, promote the um, fair that we do in October, which will be on the 17th. So we're asking all the ladies to bring in a bag lunch. We have leftover pie and ice cream from our pie sale, and that will be our snack. And uh, so we meet at 10, and there will be stations set up uh, uh, for crafting. And then at 1 o'clock, we'll have our regular business meeting. So any of you ladies that want to come, please do. Thank you. You're welcome. We will get back to the music in a minute, okay, Nolan? <laughs> we'll get back. I know. We we'll mess with you about the about the um, the whole song thing. He's really not upset with me right now. Okay. The uh, North Main Fall Retreat is September 18th, and the brochure is on the back table about that. Next cluster meet is going to be on the 12th, and Lady is invited to that. And there's a Dan Shaw. In concert on September 3rd at 6:30 p.m. at Hodgeston United Methodist Church. Two things: uh, no youth group tonight, okay. and Leon and Bonnie are here. Yeah, amen. Continued answers to prayer. Yes, she's, she's. <laughs> On October 4th, right after church, we will be holding a Yankee pot roast dinner downstairs and donations accepted. And it's for Ruth's trip to Israel. So we hope you'll all join us and we'll also, I don't know if they're up back now, maybe, the Let's sign up sheets. Not yet, but they will be. Next week, we'll have sign-up sheets for different vegetables or things that you can provide. Um, Brian will be cooking the meal for us, so we hope you'll all come and join us. Brian, who is cooking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
pass through. This yes. is also open to the public. We'll be inviting the other Methodist churches and all of us to uh, participate in that. And it's all by donation. It's all by donations, and it's not just our church. We're inviting other churches to come and, uh, and feast with us. Um, I just am yeah, so amazed at the um, continued outpouring from my church family here um, to me to help me to be able to go to um, the Holy Land. And I promise to, to spend a night of sharing uh, with the church here and anyone else who wants to hear about the adventures of, of the adventures of Ruth in the Holy Land, we'll call it. <laughs> so, um, as long as no one takes you away, let's get there. Okay, no one will take me away as I get there. Yes. Ellen. September 9th will be the start up of our Psalms Bible study. That will be a week from Wednesday at 10 o'clock. A week from Wednesday at 10 o'clock, the Psalms will be starting up again for the um, for the fall season. That's next Wednesday. Writing myself a note. <laughs> At 10 a.m. Thank you. Is there anything else I may have missed? I don't see any hands up. Okay. Yes. Oh, Sunday school starts next week, doesn't it? Uh, no, 13th. Oh, okay. Second time. Second time. Uh, we still would need uh, two more hot chairs. We did get a couple. Man or woman, whatever, well, we do need two more. And also for Sunday school, we need two to teach the third week of the month and two to teach the fourth week. You don't have to do anything, but I took care of all of us. You just have to go over them and pretend it's a Don't hesitate to talk to me. Amen. So we need two more ushers. Uh, it could be a couple of the <coughs> Just a single person, two single people, whichever, whichever will work. And also, there is a need for a Sunday school teacher for the what ages? The older group. The older group. Um, and it will be the third and the fourth Sundays of the month. And um, there's no planning because Jeannie does it all. Because Jeannie is who Jeannie is. She does it all. So um, I, it'd be great, you just go down and you just present it to the kids and have a great time with them. And it's only one time a month you have to do it. It's not every single Sunday, so you wouldn't have to miss too much. Yes? Uh, today's Miss Judy Heath's birthday. What? Today is Judy Heath's birthday? Uh-huh. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's hiding. Happy birthday.